Hi class, welcome back to online science class. Today we'll be learning about biodiversity. Ooh. To learn about this new and weird term that we're about to explore, first let's go to the park. While you're walking, what sounds do you hear? You may hear squirrels, birds chirping, bees, and children playing on the grass. Now, let's get on an airplane and go to the Amazon rainforest. Listen to the noises and count how many different sounds you hear. Very different, right? There are a lot more noises than those at the park. So, why is that? Well, different animals and plants live in different parts of the world. This connects to biodiversity, which means many different kinds of life. In a rainforest, where the weather is hot and humid, meaning there's a lot of moisture in the air, there are hundreds of different animals and thousands of different plants. So let's go back to the rainforest for a second. Can you name some of the animals you see? Pause and try to figure it out. All right, welcome back. I spot a pink river dolphin, a jaguar, ooh, a red-eyed frog, and oh, uh, a boa. Now, how about plants? This might be a little bit tricky, so pause and try to name some of the plants. All right, welcome back. So I spot epiphytes, palm trees, and vines. Now let's go to a different part of the world. Let's go to the African plains. The plains are dry and warm, but there are two rainy seasons that allow the plants to grow. Can you spot any of the animals? Be careful, many of them are dangerous and big. Pause the video and try to name the animals. All right, welcome back. I spot blue wildebeests, gazelles, zebras, buffaloes, lions, and the nasty hyenas from the Lion King. How about plants? Can you spot any of these plants? Pause the video and try to name the plants. This might be a little bit tricky. All right, welcome back. So there are many different types of grass, such as Bermuda and elephant grass and the famous African tree, the baobab, and others such as the manketi tree. When you compare the types of animals that live in these two places, you would notice that they are very different. Why don't you see a red-eyed frog in the African plains? Well, every animal needs different climate and food to survive. These places give the animals their own resources. This is the same with plants. The palm trees need a lot of water. So they live in the, Afro in the rainforest where it rains every day. The baobab, on the other hand, does not need that much water. So it lives in the plains where it rains only for a couple of months. So we observed and described the animals and its habitats. So why is diversity important? Why, are we, why do we need to know about this? Well, just as we humans depend on animals for food and trees for building things, all the animals and plants in their habitats need each other. They're connected. So let's paint a picture. Imagine you're creating a terrarium, which is a sealed glass container for plants and small animals. In this container, you put soil, plants, and small animals, such as worms, ants, and frogs. You also put water and close the container with, of course, air in it, so the plants and animals can breathe. If you chose the right animals and plants with enough resources, they will survive, eating food and creating babies. There will be more plants, which would clean the air, and the water would prevent the animals and plants from being thirsty. But if one of these plants or animals or resources are removed, 
the life in the terrarium becomes uneven, and the plants and animals would die. The connection is broken. For example, without water, the plants would stop growing, and the animals will not have food, so they will starve. Our planet is like a giant terrarium, where millions of plants and animals support each other, so all of them can live. Plants provide us with air and water, while animals help plants by spreading seeds. Animals eat other plants and other animals to survive, and of course, we as humans eat animals and plants too. So, what did we learn today? We learned that biodiversity means different kinds of life. There are different animals and plants that live in many parts of the world. Biodiversity is important because every life is connected. It helps the world run correctly and it gives us balance. I hope you learned something、uh, from this video about biodiversity, and remember to complete the worksheet that's in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.